Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Dodeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present day 697 of daily lead code problem. The question that we have in today is longest valid parenthesis. It's a hard level question on lead code but I don't feel the same. For all those who have been associated with the channel may know that we have already solved this question in the month of April 2021. The comment says it all, the like says it all. I have clearly explained the approach over here. This is a stack based question and I am pretty sure once you will go through the solution, you are definitely gonna love it up. I have clearly explained the algorithm along with the coding section. So guys, do give it, the, give, do give it a shot. You may not believe me, but believe these folks who have written the comments over here. That's not all. I have couple of important announcements to make. So do watch this video till the very end. The first and the foremost one is product internship opportunity at Adobe. So Adobe released a new opportunity for product intern. It is for the development profile. So guys who are still in college and are looking for internship, then please DM me your resumes on LinkedIn. I'll be more than happy to refer you guys up and you may get an opportunity to work with Adobe itself. A lot of people have already done it. Please spread the word about it in your colleges among your friends so that they can also apply to it and might get a chance to work for Adobe. The next announcement that I would like to make is with respect to revision strategy. So most of the people are confused when they have an interview scheduled, how to devise various concepts in depth, what questions to go for. For helping you guys, I have created couple of playlists and let's go to DSA revision sheet. The first one is for dynamic programming that I've already talked about yesterday's video as well. The next one is for graph, then we have binary search, then we have backtracking, bit manipulation, sliding window. So let's open each one of them one by one. So this one is for the dynamic programming SD sheet. So if you have an interview schedule, you don't know how to revise the entire dynamic programming concept, then this playlist is for you. You need to go to this Excel sheet, try each and every question. And I promise you after going through this sheet, you'll get the confidence of nailing each and every question with respect to dynamic programming in an interview. It covers various concepts, 1DDP, 2DDP, 3DDP, longest increasing subsequence and whatnot. So I've also marked uh, specific questions with double stars that represents highly asked questions that are must do before an interview. So guys do give it a shot. And the next one that I'm going to talk about is the backtracking SD sheet. So consider the first one as the Bible for solving each and every question related to backtracking. In this video, I've explained the template that can be used in each and every question of backtracking. What you need to do, you need to go to this video, have a look at it, understand it fully. Then you need to try these questions that I have listed over here and you will yourself see that the same templates get supplied in each and every question. So backtracking also gets done. The next one is for graphs coding decoded graph revision sheet. So before an interview, you are totally confused what all topics to revise because graph has various co underlying concepts. For example, topo sort, DFS, BFS, digit stra, spanning tree, union find. So I have cherry picked each and every question which is most important and must know before an interview. And I've listed those questions over here along with their video tutorials. So if you have any doubt understanding those questions up, please do refer to these videos and I promise you'll get a good hold of the underlying concept. You'll be able to crack any question of graph fully. So you'll yourself feel confident after going through this playlist. Also, I have not added a lot of questions over here because at times they'll become redundant and it becomes overwhelming for a student to solve so many questions before an interview. So I have very selectively chosen few set of questions that will really help you boost your confidence level. The next sheet is for sliding window. Uh, the next one is for a uh, bit manipulation. So guys, uh, I'm attaching these links in the description below. Do check them out and I'll be adding more to it. Uh, in each and every list, you'll find video solutions attached to it. Also, the difficulty level will be specified. Must to do will be specified. Now, my work is done. I have provided you with the conceptual video solutions. I have provided you this with the selective question set that you need to do. I have provided with you with the, an internship opportunity that you may apply. The struggle is all yours. I can only be the catalyst going ahead. 
so guys do give it your 100% and i promise you you will be able to crack any dream company of yours i hope you have a great time watching and going through these links and i'm looking forward to receiving as many resumes as i can let's wrap up this session now thank you